Hi, I'm Priya Orr. I'm a junior at McMurray College, and this is my video presentation. We, my client today is seeing me for anger management, and we're going to do a couple interventions. So here we go. Okay, so last week I asked you to just kind of write out when things made you upset. How did that go? Not good. I got angry. Did you? Yeah. Okay. What did you get angry at? I wrote them down. I wrote my situations down and I thought about it and I got angry. Why did you get angry? Because it's like they were happening again. Okay. Well, do you know, could you tell me what kind of happened? I sat down to write, to write my situations down. I thought it was going pretty smooth. And then, about halfway through my second situation, I got so angry because it's like, I thought about it and I didn't want it to happen again and I knew it was gonna happen again. What were your situations? Last week, I was sleeping. It was really early in the morning. My dog bit my leg, and I woke up because it hurt really bad, really bad. He wanted to go outside, so I let him outside. And then he started scratching on the door when he wanted back in. So I had to get back up and let my dog back in. Okay. Did anything else happen? Yeah. He peed on the blanket when he got back in. Really? So I bet that was frustrating. It was. Didn't like it. <laughs> Was that, so were those your two main situations this week? Do you have yeah. anything else? No. No? So it was pretty good besides that, besides your dog? Yeah. Okay. Well, what we're going to do now is this is called an anger meter. And all it is, this is just a scale from 1 to 10. And I just want you, I just want you to mark down where you think you're at when you're, let's do when your dog bit your leg. One is it upset you a little bit. Ten is you were just furiated. So where do you think you'd be at? Out of ten? Okay. So our goal is going to be to get that down throughout this, okay? So I want you, I'm going to make you some copies and have you take this home with you. So whenever, and it doesn't have to be immediate. If you don't remember, don't feel bad. It's okay. We can talk about it in session. So I'm going to just take this with you and just see if you can bring it down. Just something happens, be like, okay, how did that make me feel? If you were just, just infuriated, then you know what? Mark it as a 10, and we're just going to do some exercises to try to get that down, okay? Okay. Are you okay with this? Yeah. Okay. So, there's that. And these are a lot of things we're going to work with today. Are just a lot of different charting, just kind of make you aware. Because once you're aware, then we can start working on how, to, how your reaction's going to be, maybe your mindset and what you think about it. Okay. Okay? I can do that. Okay. So, this next one is... Um, what it is, is it says events, cues, and strategies. And what it is, is your event is what happened. So it would be your dog, I see that thing. It'd be your dog bit your leg, and then he peed on the blanket. After I let him outside. After you left him, let him outside. Yeah. So, what did you think when those two situations happened? What was running through your mind? I thought I was going to get rid of the dog. I was really angry. I wanted to hit him, but I didn't. You didn't, but no. you thought about it. Yes. Okay. He's just a puppy. I didn't want to hurt my puppy. Yeah. Well, he's your little 
gladiators, are they? He is my little buddy. Mm -hmm. See? So, what did happen? Well, I let him outside, because he wanted to go outside. Mm -hmm. When he came back in, he went pee on the blanket. And then I got angry. So instead of hitting my dog, like I thought, I just put him in his kennel. Okay, so that's all you did was just put him in his kennel? Yes. Did you go back to bed afterwards? Yes. Okay. So see, we have the event is your dog peed on the blanket. The, your cues were that you thought about hitting him, but you didn't. And then what you actually did was you just put him in his kennel. So as these sessions go on, we're going to work through these. And we're going to compare, like, this is how you were in your third or fourth session, and this is how you are now. And you're just going to realize how much you have changed. Okay, so that's the whole point of these. Um, I think these we're just going to do in session. I'm not going to give them to you just because it's a lot. So we can just kind of, this can be what we do together at the beginning of every session. Is just kind of go through what happened, what you thought about it, and then what you actually did. Okay. And then we can kind of just work from there. Okay. So, the last thing that I wanted to go over with you today is it's called an anger control plan. So, and this is just kind of why I want to discuss what your thought is. So what are, what are some things that you do now? Or do you have any, well, any kind of rituals that you like to do? I was told to take deep breaths. So I, I work on my breathing a lot. Mm -hmm. And that usually helps. And I count to 10 too. I was told to count. Mm -hmm. Count and breathe are the two main things that I do. And it helps sometimes, but other times I just, I can't help it. I can count to a hundred and I can breathe as much as I want to. I take deep breaths in and deep breaths out. And sometimes it still doesn't help. Okay, so let's work on this a little bit. I, my goal today is just to kind of list different things that you would like to do and then maybe you can carry this list with you so when you lose sight of it you're just so mad you can just remember pull it out and be like okay I'm gonna do this and this and then by the time you're done then you'll, you'll feel relieved. So you said you like to count and breathe. Yeah. So let's put that as your number one. You count to ten that doesn't work, what do you think you'd be able to do? What are some thoughts? I don't know. I, I usually watch TV, too. Okay. That helps sometimes. So, maybe some kind of distraction? Yeah. Watch TV. I'll clean. Play a video game. For number three, we'll put it, walk away. How does that make you feel? It's hard to do sometimes. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. My dog bit my leg, and I couldn't walk away from my dog. Yeah. I had to make sure that he had to go outside. Yeah, but when, once you put him outside, that's kind of your way of walking away. Like, he's outside, he's in a different room. So you can kind of repeat yourself and then go back and get him. I know once he came back in, he got upset again. So after that, what do you think? Do you think walking away would work? Well, sometimes it's just that's the hardest part about anger. You can't walk away. Mm -hmm. I sit and think about what I should have done and, and 
how I can control the situation a little better. That just sometimes makes things worse because I sit down and think about it. Yeah. So what you're kind of wanting to do is to have something like immediate, so you don't have to think about it later and think about what you could have done. Yeah. Okay. So what if what if we did do this action plan and then you would be able to you can have a copy of it, you can put it on your fridge maybe, and so it's always it's there, and so when something happens, you can look at it and be like, okay, I'm going to count to 10, I might go watch a little TV. Um, instead of walking away, do you want to do, you said you take drives, like to drive around, would that work better? Well, sometimes it's bad to drive in. It is. I, I, I don't like it sometimes because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. So I would rather watch TV or, Ooh, okay. or do the breathing exercise or count to 10. Okay, that's fine. We can take that out. It's not a big deal. This is your plan. So what about another idea would be um, exercising? Could, but I don't live anywhere close enough to a gym. Yeah. Well, you said that you play video games. What kind of console do you have? I have an Xbox 360. So maybe what you could do some kind of like, um, like you know how they have the little games, like like Just Dance. That could be an exercise where you just kind of dance around. That'd be a good get your heart going and maybe release some of that anger and tension. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I'll try that. Okay. That'd be a good one. So, we're going to put exercising. <coughs> um, if you would like, we could go over just a few little, little exercises. Nothing. Okay. Okay? I can do that. Okay. So, a couple of little exercises. I'm going to take off my shoes. Just a couple little ones would be just, you know, just like the walking man. This is more like a dance, but it works. I like to dance. You're just kind of moving. You can just step. So just anything just to kind of move and just get your mind off of things. It releases some Dance my anger away? Yes, that would be great. Cool. I like dancing. <laughs> so, and then, this isn't going to go on your plan, but eventually once we get through these sessions, you could always start attending an anger management group. Um, so you have some peer support. So you could... Um, I know you aren't really close to your family, but your friends, you can always talk to them about what's going on. If you can't, if you can't handle it yourself, you can always call a friend and just be like, hey, I'm really I, upset right now. I want to talk to somebody. I like to talk to friends. Mm -hmm. So we can put that as number four. Talk to friends. So I'm going to give this to you. You can put it wherever you would like to, wherever you want to see it, just so you always know. So number one, we have count to ten and breathe. Number two is distraction, so watching TV, playing games, cleaning. Um, number three is going to be exercising, dancing your anger away. Okay, let's write that down. day right there. And then number four, if you can't handle it, don't be scared to call to talk to somebody. They'll understand. Okay. Okay? I can do these things. Okay, so 
next session, what we're going to do is we're going to go over your scale. Okay? And kind of see if we've made any improvements or just how, how the week went. And then we're going to, if anything happened, we're going to talk about it and kind of go from there. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. I think, I think you'll do good this week. I hope so. So we're going to end the session the way we normally do. And that's by breathing. I know you like to breathe. We all like to breathe. So, sit up. And then we're just going to take three deep breaths. Remember to breathe out of your stomach, not out of your chest. Okay, ready? better? Yes. Okay. Let's go. Are you ready?